In this video, you will learn how RGB color channel works and how we can transform these colors. So let's import NumPy and Matplotlib. I'll write here import NumPy as NP. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt percentage matplotlib inline. And to load an image, we are going to use the module PIL from Python. So I will write here from PIL import the class image and let us execute our code. Now I'll make one variable img and I'm going to load the image using this class image and from this I will use the function open and inside this I will pass the image name and the image name is dog dot slash image dot jpg the same image that we have seen in our previous tutorial and now I'm going to just press image here so this will print the image for us and you can see here this is the image that uh, that we have just displayed and now we are going to convert this image into numpy array so this is the original image here you don't see any information like its height and width in the image itself but when we convert it into numpy array we can see all those informations in the in image itself so now let's convert it to numpy array convert image to numpy array so i will make one variable image underscore array then from numpy i will call the function array as array and then image and then i will check the type of this image array so this is numpy.nd array and let us also check its shape i will write here image underscore array dot shape and its shape is so height is 2250 weight is 3000 and 3 is the color channel and we can also print this image so for that we will use plt.imshow and i will write here image underscore array so this will display the image and this is the image on y-axis you can see the height and on the x-axis you can see the width so now you will see there is a difference so when you are opening this image using this uh, pil you just simply write i that the variable name of the image and the image will be printed but when you are converting this image into numpy array and if you simply type this image underscore array the image won't be printed so you will get the arrays here you you won't get the image and to display the image you will have to use this function plt dot show so whenever you are converting your image into numpy array and you want to display it then you have to use this function show so remember this and if you are just using this pil then you don't have to use any function simply type the variable of that image and that image will be displayed in your jupyter notebook now we are going to understand these three channels the red blue and green so now if i print this shape here again so i will write here image underscore array dot shape so we have these three channels here and we have height and width so for each set for each channel this height and width will be the same so so how it will be uh, 2250 will be the height 3000 will be the width and this is for right channel similarly 2250 3000 this will be for the green channel and then here I have to write zero sorry and then again we have this 2250 height 3000 width and this is for red green blue so this 3 is for RGB and I will also write it here so RGB stands for red green and blue so by using these three colors all the other colors are 
by using the combinations of these three colors all the other colors are generated by matplotlib uh, so for each color channel the height and width will be same and it will be different and if you want to access this channel so the indexing would be so for red so let's I will write here indexing for channels so for red the index number is 0 for green index number is going to be 1 and for blue index number is going to be 2 and all array numbers lies between 0 to 255 where 0 means light colors and 255 means full or dark color so if i print this image underscore array so here you can see these are the numbers here so we have 110 108 112 then 56 and so on so whenever the number is low that is 45 42 or so on that means the color is going to be light and wherever the number is high for example 101 102 the color will be dark and you will come to know more when i will do the operations on this rgb so let's do that and i'll show you practically so now let's access the red channel we will first make a copy of our image so that our original image will remain as it is so i'll make one new variable image underscore color and then i will make a copy of image underscore array using the function copy so i am just making a copy of this image and then let us execute our code now i am going to just show this plt im show image underscore color so this will be as it is because this is just a copy of that our image color now let's look at red channel values so for that we will write here plt im show and then image underscore color then i'll make a list here i will select all rows then i will select all columns and to access the red color as i have said the indexing is zero so i will write here zero so you will see here the indexing for red is zero that is why i am writing here zero and then let's see the image i'll print this So now you see uh, we are getting a different color here so this is nothing but a grayscale image and in matplotlib grayscale image are shown like this but if you want to make it completely gray then you can pass one parameter here you have to put comma you have to pass a c map which is color mapping and then you have to write here gray and then let us execute the code so this time you will see the image is now completely gray in color now let's check green color channel so for that i will just copy this code from here and i will paste it here and uh, just remove this c map and to access green i will write here one and let us check the image so you will see there is some slight difference between the red and green if i remove this gray and let us compare red and green so here you will see this area is more lighter but here this area looks a little darker here and now let's check for the blue color so i will copy and paste that code again and this time i will write here two and let us see the difference so here you will see the background is more dark here as compared to the green and red so this is how you will access the different rgb colors that it that is red green and blue now what we can do so here we have these three channels uh, if i write here image underscore color dot shape so we have three channels now what we can do we can completely remove one of the color from the image 
So we can say that we want to get rid of red color from the image and we will see how the image would look like. So in that case, what we need to do is we need to make all the arrays of red colors as zero. So if I type here image underscore color. So these are the arrays in our image and we are going to make the array of red color as zero. So let's do that and see. So I will write here image underscore color then I want all rows all columns for red channel and I want to make red as zero and then I will print image underscore color so you will see one of the array will become zero so now here in the output you see the difference this one has completely become zero that means we have eliminated the red color from the image now let's display the image plt dot im show and then I will write image underscore color. So you can see that the color of this image has changed. Now if I print the original one im show so in Im image underscore array was our original numpy array image. So if I print this now here you can see the difference the color has been changed so you there these are some you can say these colors are close to red colors they are not actually red but they are closer to red and all these colors are now gone so these colors are no more there because we have completely removed the red color from the image and if you remove one of the color from the image then the image color will change now let's now let's remove the contribution of green color so we will remove the green color from this image so for that what i will do i will just copy this code from here so where is that code this one and i will paste it here so we have this r g b so green is for one so index number of green is one and i will make it as zero and then I will display this. So now you see red and green both are zero now. So now let's see how the image would look like. So I will write here plt dot im show image underscore color. So now here in the output you can see this image is totally blue now because out of the three channels red, green and blue red and green have become zero so the only color left in the image is blue that is why this image is looking now totally blue so if you remove the channels from the images the color of the image will completely change now one important point to note here is that even though we have removed the red and green channel if you look at the shape of the image it will still be three the shape won't change and you don't have to worry about it so let's look at the shape here so i will write here image underscore color dot shape so you can see the channel are still three but in this channel we are having only two colors only one color sorry two colors have been removed and they have been made zero so if i write if i just print the array here you will see red and green they have been completely removed and made zero we have only color blue here so this is how you can manipulate the rgb color and this is one of the important thing that you need to know in computer vision because you will be playing around this rgb a lot so till this tutorial we have seen how we can import the image using pil but in the next tutorial we will see how we can use the OpenCV module and when we will use the OpenCV module we don't need to convert our image into numpy array so that OpenCV module will remove this step and it will become easier for us to do the manipulation on the images and that we will see in the next tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching